from my pal Chris Johnson, who's a physical therapist who treats high, athlete, high of athletes, runners. Um, and he noticed that patients who tended to have a loss of tibular external rotation, knee pain, ankle issues, general lower quarter issues, and especially a loss of dorsiflexion had a lack of tibial lateral line. That's the best way I can describe that. Again, if you think of most of the patients who kind of have a valgus collapse and you think it's a glute med weakness problem, and, and I would mainly blame it on an ankle mobility issue, if your tibia can only go laterally, in, or can only go medially, and has a lack of ability to go laterally, that will contribute to a valgus collapse. So it's not so much of a glute med weakness thing, it could be a talocrural or a tibia mobility issue. What you're gonna do, you take both your hands and put one of them on top of the other, and I want to almost pronate the forefoot, but I'm really just holding it as stable as possible. I'm going to ask the patient to actively abduct or do kind of like a bent knee fallout on the side of them testing. So they should be able to abduct maybe 30, 40 degrees under normal circumstances. And again, depending on the patient, but what you're really looking for, because I don't really have hard numbers for this, is an asymmetry, okay? Is, is the involved side, the side that caves with the single limb stance test, can they abduct less on that side? And then I would possibly overpressure with that. I'll just check the other side. Okay, go ahead. This side seems to be going over a little easier and a little faster. And definitely, it, even if it's, I'm gonna look at quantity and quality. If the involved side can't can get to the same uh, quant quantity as the uninvolved side, but it, it ha they have more difficulty and there's more effort, that's still something you want to mobilize. So, in terms of mobilization, I felt like this side. Did you, did you feel like one side was harder than the other? Was it this side? Sorry. Okay. The mobilization then, where the reset becomes. It, the assessment is the same thing, right, as the reset. So I really want to hold this still. And I might do some intervention here with end range overpressure. Go ahead and abduct. So you really want to try to hold the foot still because someone can easily overpower your hands. So at the point of end range, I'll probably give a little overpressure. Or I could do a little hold, relax in whatever direction. You prefer so I'll have an AB duct into my hand. Push and relax. And push and relax. Let's try that again. 